Hey everybody, welcome back to Growing Organic. All right, this is a follow-up video to a uh, previous video that went viral. I think it got like 1.8 million views so far. I was trying to clone my fruit trees with cinnamon and honey. To be honest, it didn't work out, unfortunately. I'm gonna show you guys an absolute foolproof method of cloning any fruit tree, you're going to be using this stuff right here. Uh, Clonex rooting, rooting gel. This is one of the best um, that we come across. It's a really interesting color, that purple. Looks really cool. This is the stuff that's going to be put onto the, uh, the stems. Uh, it's similar to exactly how I did in the last video, but I'm going to go through and show you guys uh, the whole process again. So you can see inside here, this is my little uh, incubation chamber. Um, I got a thermostat in here. Let's go ahead and take this off. You can see we're at a 81 uh, temperature inside of the dome, 85 degrees, uh, 85 humidity, 81 temperature. Uh, that's pretty good, but I want to keep the humidity very high in here. That's like a, you want it to be like a rainforest. These three are the peaches. This is the uh, blood orange. So let's go ahead and prep these again. I'll try to make this quick. You guys can probably fast forward. If you do, you can skip through this. So, well, probably better to watch. This part's important. So this is kind of new growth here. You can see this is the uh, the pomegranate. Um, see that red part? The harder wood is the wood. You can kind of tell. So you have to make a decision. Uh, ideally, you want to have the soft material going into your medium. So before I do that, I'm going to prep. These are right here. Root Riot. This is just one brown, but it's uh, these little plugs. And uh, they basically are the perfect environment for First, starting out your your cut your cuttings, cloning your plants. So I'll leave a link in the description to all of these supplies. And this is basically you will I guarantee you're going to have great success if you just kind of watch what I'm doing here step by step. There's certain plants obviously that are much harder to clone than others, but I'd say about 90% of all plants um, are clonable with this the same exact method obviously you know succulents are so easy you could just put them in the ground and they'll they'll reproduce you, can, you don't have to put them in soil there's certain things that are really easy but i'd say fruit trees are towards the harder uh, things to do so yeah so we got these let's go back you can see in here i'm going to put a little water just to um, saturate these things because you want these pretty wet just to pre-wet pre them, you don't need much. So they're in there. You can see there's also a little hole inside each one. That's where the uh, clone is going to uh, go be inserted. All right, let's prep these real quick. I'm not gonna do more than one right now, just to show you guys. So I'm gonna cut it, let's say here. I can probably get two clones out of this one. If I cut it right here in the middle, Okay, you always have to try to make it like a little point if you could. So when you poke it into your the medium, it goes in without a problem. Then I'm going to try to cut off this last little part here. Uh, very care very careful. Okay, just kind of cut off that little piece, and then you want to kind of rough up the edge just to help the roots. If there's if there's any wood. Kind of uh, just scrape it a little bit like that. And you just want to really be gentle with this, just very lightly, just to get some of the brown wood. So I'm just kind of scraping little by little. I'm going to go up a little bit too, kind of getting some of the skin off. That's going to allow the root to kind of start spreading, coming out. Just scratching some of the surface. Okay, that's probably good enough. Um, you can see here, I might want to take one more leaf off right here. That 
allows me to one more and he's wherever you cut it the roots gonna grow through so that'll be another rooting spot right there so I'm gonna push it in all the way down you want to have about an inch of it into the, the medium. Yeah, you know, this is again, this is a early stage plant. I would like to wait a little longer to do this to have longer new growth, but all right. Now let's go ahead and this stuff is the cool stuff. I already got this purple stuff here, the cloning gel. And it even says here, if you guys don't believe me, can you clone fruit trees? It says right here. Uh, cloning fruit trees it's used on all types of cuttings it says fruit trees right there that's good so guaranteed to work just the potato method in my last video that's more of an experimental method and it's you know it's good to try things that are uh, you don't have to go out and buy if you were just like living out on the homestead somewhere and you didn't have access to these things it'd be nice to be able to you know try different methods so you can't uh always count everything out because i'm still going to try it one more time with this stuff so now what you want to do is i want to get a lot more of that on here you want to get a good amount stuff is really cool color get a good amount on there much as you can kind of Work it in there a little bit. You want to end up going in about as far as you can. I'm going to just kind of hold it here and then kind of push. Don't break it. Very. This stuff is just the most. This is like a very critical stuff. So that's in solid. That's a perfect little clone. Let me put that inside um, here quickly. In the meantime, this is going to be a nice one, I think. Okay. So that's one. Let's do another one of these real quick. Um, I'm going to do one more, then we'll do one with the, one with the potato, so no one's going to be complaining about how long the video is. They're going to say, I could have done this in five minutes or one minute. Okay, so again, this one's a little different shape. I'm going to scrape off this material. The, the very, very careful not to damage too much of it above. I'm just kind of scraping the hardwood material until you kind of get to the soft. Okay, I think I've explained that enough. I'll take off one more branch here. These are a little tricky because they're so short. So I might have to wait a little longer, but again, um, that's what it kind of looks like. Okay. You can, it's easier if you dump this into like a little shot glass here, and then you can just dip it in. But for these purposes, for the video, I'm just, uh, again, I could probably, it's a good amount in there. Okay, so once those are in there, you want to moisten the leaves. Um, so I'm going to take this lid off. So you can see how the humidity changed so much uh, since I opened that up. Out here it's 73% um, percent humidity and 77 degrees. So I think it was 85% humidity was what you want inside my little dome. I'm going to kind of hold my hand together like this. Just so it hold, it's supporting me and I'm getting them wet at the same time. So I'm going to hold this up. Just hold it in my finger and they're just getting completely wet. And that's what you want is to keep these things in a very humid environment. I might do this to these ones too. Just get, keep everything wet. This is, again, these other ones have been here for about six hours. They're still looking really good. Um, this is looking good, my blood orange. And this is the other uh, pomegranate. So the new pomegranate's right there. Um... So, so far, uh, typically, if you were to cut this off outside and just leave it, that would have been wilted in about a half hour. This has been six or seven hours. Uh, this is my Florida Prince uh, peach tree. I got one, two, three. So you can see how quick and easy that is.
Um, you'll see sometimes it fills up under here. You want to take take that extra water you can dump it into a cup and then pour it right back over so some of that nutrient stays you know within uh, so you don't throw it throw that water away because you're always going to get some extra when you dump this cover that back up and on top um, there's these little holes you're going to leave those open about for the first a couple days, it's going to be about a, less than a quarter. To put your finger in there barely. The key is that's your temperature and humidity control. That little valve. When you keep your humidity really high, around eighty-five percent, and uh, temperature no higher than eighty, ideally. Uh, then otherwise things will start wilting. You can see. Um, if it gets up to 90, they could just straight up die. So you're basically creating an incubation chamber for these little plants. Uh, you want a perfect environment. There's the blood orange right there. Things looking pretty pretty good. Um, that's like the only one that I could even cut that was long enough. I'm going to do a lot more of these. but So this is basically an absolute foolproof way you guys can clone any fruit tree. Um, basically any plant for the most part.